There we are at a uh, nice detached village hall, uh, 10 years old thereabouts, block work in a leaf stone out of leaf. Thing to watch for with this type of construction, um, which we come across um, an awful lot I'm afraid, is ties of insufficient length um, to achieve embedment in the outer leaf. Commonly what happens is the inner leaf goes up ahead of the outer leaf, the brickies naturally need to uh, embed the ties quite deeply so that they'll just drop out when they place them on the bed joint. Uh, this leaves some sticking out for the uh, bricky to brick around as he, as he forms his stone external leaf, but unfortunately um, stone is a natural material of course, and what you'll find is that it, um, it varies in thickness when you get a delivery. What we commonly find is the problem I'm about to show you, sorry about the wind noise, but there's the time, as a result, you can see a lot of the deep road about there. See what that is, is the bit that you shouldn't be seeing, it should be embedded in the outer leaf. Um, have some sympathy with the uh, mason, because he can only lay what is delivered, and the tie position is chosen for him, so it happens to drop on a bad place like that one did on the underside, the, the, the stone on the uh, underside of the tie slopes in at the top, and the mortar just drops off, and you're left with uh, insufficient length. And the moral of the story here is uh, basically always buy wall ties, which are too long. Um, not so long that they stick out of the face, obviously, but a little bit too long. We'll just uh, get the cows out of the way and we'll have a look at the gable wall. So we're at the gable now of this uh, this village hall. It's raining a bit, sorry about that. Um, just going to have a look at another sample which I've found. Obviously I've done a lot of drilling in advance of this inspection, and uh, but uh, typical we'll find a similar thing, I think. Just have a quick look at that. There's the tie stainless steel, we're looking at the other side, and if we come to the outer leaf, there's the almost all of the deep profile is visible, as you can see. It's uh, the stone's actually above it, um, and this is the phenomenon I mentioned, that what tends to happen is mortar just drops off and leaves it exposed. Um, so it's not really doing anything, um, providing some compressive support to the outer skin, I suppose, if it's pushed in, but no tensile support at all. Um, so say bye-bye to the cows and uh, we'll carry on.